Getting drawings like this require great pencil control, so I'll show you a couple quick tips that I do. I'm Matt Abraxas, and getting drawings like this, it takes a lot of patience, but it also takes a lot of very detailed control of your pencil. And you cannot do that with the way that most pencils end up being sharpened. So the first thing you need to be able to do is have your pencil sharpened like so. Is that focused? I have it sharpened to a long, long taper. And what this allows me to do is treat the pencil more like a paintbrush at first, especially when working on the uh, broad line work, the broad shapes. Take this one here, for example. In this drawing, you have a few areas here that are incomplete, and you really see where it's just this very basic line work that's being done. It's very structural. And doing this, you're not holding your pencil like, like here. You can't see with a more objective point of view. You have to approach it more like a paintbrush or um, if you ever drawn on a chalkboard, the, the best way to write with a chalk on a chalkboard is to work from your shoulder and your elbow. You're working out like that, not from your wrist and your knuckles, okay? So this allows me to just focus on a general shape, defining the, this uh, area of the arm right here. I kind of practice a little bit, you know, I don't actually put the pencil to paper yet and I'm holding the pencil out, you know, not in, but out. And I sort of have an idea, this is roughly it. Now, I'm also starting with the 5H, which is a very uh, hard graphite, which means that it doesn't make a very dark mark, okay? It's a very light mark, and it's a, it's a much better way to begin your drawing. You start very light, and then you start to work into like a, a B, an HB, 2B, or even, you know, get down to a 6B. Right here is probably like a 4B. It leaves a much darker mark. It's a softer graphite. So, general shapes first, and once you have line work that you're happy with, then you hold the pencil in, not out, but in, and now from here you can start working in areas, but even still I'm trying to think of the whole arm is active while working in, this, in these line areas. The only time that I really stay tight within the wrist and knuckle is in like a very small little area. Like I want to pick up this little highlight of the eye. It's a very, very small spot. And I know exactly what I need to do to define that shape. But like right here on the toes, I'm going to still keep my whole arm moving, trying to still be a mix of uh, loose and controlled. You know, I don't want to be too tight, too rigid but staying somewhat loose, but very controlled. And finally, one of the ways to practice getting good control with, uh, you know, sort of a loose approach, but staying, keeping your whole arm in a controlled movement is simply just take a blank page and just draw lines. But don't do it without any thought look and think, I'm going to make a, you know, I want to do a certain curve. I want it to look like this. Practice one and then go ahead and try it. And often, if you have a very clear idea of what that line should be, this won't totally match. It takes a lot of practice. One of my teachers, uh, Jeffrey Watts, really great teacher. You can, uh, he actually has online tutorials that you can start studying from too, uh, an online school, in fact. What he used to do, or maybe still does, I don't know, when I studied with him, he would spend about 10 minutes at the beginning of a uh, drawing, life drawing session and just fill a page with lines, lines, curved lines, circles, squares, angles, and just getting the, the movement uh, just prepped up. It's like warming up your muscles. 
So before you're going to start drawing something and you have a model and you have that precious time, maybe it's three hours or an hour or something, you only have so much time to work from that live model, you want to be warmed up and ready to go. So sharpen pencil, which is sharpened by hand with a blade, just holding it out. You can get the, the wood. And then you have to put a little more pressure into it. And then once you're on the graphite, I just gently work it until it gets to the perfect shape that I want. You can also use a little bit of sandpaper on a block and just gently rub the pencil against the sandpaper while twisting it and it'll get a perfect sharpened point. You can spend about 20 minutes getting several pencils ready before your drawing session. So you have your pencil sharpened to a sharp point and then you are drawing from the whole arm, getting your body all into it, beginning with a, a light pencil or a hard graphite, 5H, working the overall shapes, and then moving down to something softer, like an HB um, or a B, as in this case. And then you can work into smaller areas and finally, maybe with an HB or something even darker if you like, then you get into the very fine little areas and that's the only time you hold the pencil really tight. All right, I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, please let me know in the comments below and if you liked this, share it, thumb it up and subscribe so you can watch more. I'm Matt Abraxas, thanks for watching.